One thing that I am certain of right now is that I am living the life I have in a way that I could survive. Life will never be always happy and good. There will be times that the world will stop you and pull you down and it's up to you and your response and how you pull yourself up again. As we look at a bigger picture, life can also be full of imperfections, mysteries, sadness, frustrations, anxiousness, disappointments, and fear. But that does not mean we are not happy nor living a good life. Hi, I am Sherry, and this is how I describe my imperfect but good and happy life. My inner child was an eyewitness when I shared the old layers of me. She witnessed the moments when I was alone and was out of joy. She listened to my cracking voice whenever I cried, and my never-ending loud noise whenever I rant about the things that I don't want to speak with, with people. She was there when I distanced myself from the ones I love. She was the inner voice who's keeping me on dreaming, and the inner feeling who's keeping me on believing. I always felt her warm hugs whenever I break down and overthink about life. She makes me calm. It was uncomfortable for me to talk about how I feel, but she keeps on telling me that it's not bad to become vulnerable and fragile at times when needed. She reminds me to kneel down and submit myself to the man above whom we both surrender to. She helped me millions of times in collecting my shattered pieces along the way of our journey. I always felt the pressure into thinking what if our hard work went paid off? Or what if I fail? But she reminds me to pray and have faith, for she believes in me that I could make her dreams into reality. Furthermore, among all of those whom I love, it was the man above who was helping my inner child and showing me delight whenever my soul is swallowed by negativities. This man is constantly reminding me to guard my heart for everything that I do flows from it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. And to not lean on my own understanding, but to have faith in Him. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. To sum it all, I may have living a shortly satisfying and self fulfilling life for my current self, covered by tones of what ifs. But still, I could say that I am living a happy and good life in a way that I saw my inner child happy and satisfied.